last night, one of the things I was talking about during the show, kind of alluding to um, obliquely, um, was the was there was a situation with Ralphamania. Now, ordinarily, this is the type of thing, the story that I'm going to tell you today. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit of a long story. Ordinarily, even though I've had personal drama in public too, certainly, ordinarily this would be something that um, you would rather see um, talked about behind closed doors. But since um, it involves the destruction of my property, my $2,000 uh, belt, $1,600 worth of merchandise, other property of mine, over $5,000 worth of property of mine uh, at Ho Harry Morris's house uh, that he has allegedly destroyed. Um, he, he has taken it to a situation where, uh, well, where I'm from, uh, quite frankly, I think people know what happens to people like that. Uh, I don't have to. I don't have to paint a picture. Um, but that's not something that's, um, that's ever going to be accepted by me. Uh, that's not something that I'm ever going to let go unanswered in public. I gave this gentleman, cocksucker, many days to speak to me like a man. Uh, not only did he not speak to me, he wouldn't speak to his daughter. Uh, organized a situation where nobody in the family would speak to her. Um, I had Michael Cisco, who had an investment in this property as well, call him to try to talk. This is all on the record, by the way. To try to say, hey, look, you know, I know you and Ralph have a problem. Let's work this out. He hung up on Cisco. This is all real, by the way. This is not a storyline. I want to be very clear. This is not a storyline. This is not part of Ralph Mania at all. So, I and I and I just want to say that he there has been many days of opportunity for this not to be happening. And I did my damnedest to, and I sent many messages on my own. Two or three, not many, I man, ain't a bitch. But <laughs> I said, and including one yesterday, and I said, don't make me take this public because I'm going to have to. Uh, you know, this is a very serious crime that you've committed against me, and I'm going to have to talk about it in public because, and if first off, the belt's not going to be there. I have to figure out the shirt issue now as well, which I'm going to do, and Ralph Mania is still going to be lit. Don't let this cocksucker, don't let this, not only is Ralph Mania going to still be lit, it's going to be more lit than you could ever fucking imagine. I'm doing my wedding the night before in Atlantic City. I'm hoping uh, some people that are there are going to come to that as well. I haven't officially planned all that out just yet. That's been a late uh, development. Uh, but don't, you know, please believe I'm still going to put on a hell of a show. The belt is also going to be recast. I haven't reached out to the belt maker yet, but it's going to be recast. I, I don't think it's possible. I guess I should message him today just in case. I don't actually think it's possible for him to remake. You know what? I'm going to send him an email. I'm going to send him an email just to see. Because I actually didn't even think it was possible. But maybe. And you know, he had an extra plate. Well, you don't know this, but there was a little scratch on the first belt that he made. And he asked me, did I want a new metal plate? And I was like, yeah, I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and so he sent it off. So I wonder if he maybe still has that plate. Or did he send that back? If he still has that center plate, I don't know. I'm thinking now I'm going to reach out to him and see. Because I kind of just want to get it recast now almost no matter the cost. Thank you, Dalton's going to be there with me on commentary. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun. Please don't let this... <laughs> This is only going to make it more exciting. Like, don't, <laughs> don't don't let don't let don't let anything fool you. That's why last night I wanted to be clear. There's nothing wrong with the venue. Um, you know, I haven't heard that anybody's backing out or anything like that. We got wrestlers contracted for the show. I have all their pay set aside. The show's paid for. Like, don't worry about that. There's no danger of the show not happening. I t treated this very seriously from the start, which is why I can't let something like this go. Um, but the show's paid for. Nothing's like in wavering or anything like that. I, I want to be very clear on that. The after party, all that shit. I've put my own money on the line to rent these venues, etc. So, yes, don't. Don't worry about that. But the belt has apparently been destroyed. Uh, the shirts uh, have apparently been destroyed. Uh, and so I'm going to have to figure out uh, where to go from there. Uh, and if you, you want to know who did that, uh, it would be Harry Morris. 
of Rochester, New York, who is actually grandfather to my daughter. Um, and not only did he do that, he did a lot of things. Um, and his claim to do more things, like uh, I see that uh, there's all sorts of claims on Kiwi Farms about, uh, you know, leaking of personal information, et cetera. Um, basically, the guy is evil, uh, and he destroyed my property, and he needs to actually be in jail. Um, and my normal reaction <laughs> would be to probably go do something really dumb <laughs> in Rochester, New York. Um, but that doesn't do me any good. Uh, and that's exactly the type of thing um, that he would want me to do, right? Uh, my normal reaction would be get, to get on that plane, and, uh, you know, I've had situations like this before, and it's been dealt with in a tit-for-tat manner. And, uh, you know, I don't, I, I'm not going to participate in that because I got too much riding on being a public personality that I can't afford to roll up to his house and, you know, fuck up his shit. Which is what he deserves. I mean, that's really what he deserves. But uh, nonetheless, I can't. Uh, I can't behave in that manner. So I'm just going to tell you what happened. Yeah, too, too rich now. No, just too. It's too much. They'll, they that would be yeah. That would be what they would want me to do. Uh, I'd probably get in trouble with the law. I want to see him get in trouble with the law. I, I don't need to prejudice, uh, you know, my case or do something dumb. Uh, you know, if he was a man, he would have picked up the phone and just either, you know, just said what he did. He could have still just paid me. The, by the way, he could have still paid me the money. I had Cisco send him, before I went on the air today, Cisco sent him a final offer. Hey, you can still just pay us back for this stuff, and we can just drop it here. Yeah, Pants, Pants who's father, yeah, that's who this is. That we can just drop it here, and that did not happen. So, um, you know, a police report's going to be filed probably during this show. Uh, you know, that's pants whose address is there. You can't just destroy property of her. It's been left. She is the one who, even though it's my stuff, it was like they're at her place. You know what I mean? Uh, it's actually highly illegal uh, and against several New York laws uh, to just do something like that. Uh, and so I'm definitely going to be, and I say me and her and Michael Cisco are going to be pressing charges against Harry Morris. Uh, and if the police aren't going to press charges, then I'm going to sue him. Uh, and that's definitely like 100% going to happen because I have texts where he talks about, oh, I already lost the belt. My cowboy hat was over there too. I already lost the belt and the hat. Uh, well, okay, if that's what you want to do. And then my shirts were, were getting shipped there. I couldn't, couldn't stop it. They were already getting shipped there. Uh, and then they came on Monday, uh, and he put out an article today he tweeted, this is him, faggot. He's just like the other guy, honestly, the coin merchant. I mean, it's just like the same breed, really. He's he's a failed blogger. He tried to do what I do for a living and failed because he's, he's not talented enough. Harry Morris used to be a blogger, and he blogged about, like, race car shit. And I'm a rich, famous motherfucker from being a blogger. You know, I turned into a streamer, and you're some fat fuck who is a scent for Alice, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it didn't work out for you. It worked out well for me. But uh, I, some would maybe say you were lacking in talent. I, I don't know. Bum, hack, whatever you want to call it. But I made it, Harry. Anyway, this was put, I get, New York Post put out an article today. Porch Pirates stole $260 million worth of packages this year. Retired cop explains ways to prevent it this Christmas. And then he says, good advice. So basically he's implying that he's going to claim my, my T-shirts got stolen off his porch or whatever. Well, we got text where he, where he says, I already lost the belt. And already lost the hat. So, I mean, that's you admitting you destroyed those. So, if you think you're going to get out of, at least with the belt. So, maybe he's going to try to claim this uh, with the shirts. But, you know, since you're already on record as having fucking destroyed the belt, uh, I don't know how how far that's going to fly in court, Harry, if you want to know the truth. And you're fucking around with some felony level shit, actually. Because I, there was other stuff of mine from when we moved at his house. There's over $5,000 worth of my property. Our property. At his fucking house. And that's a felony. I don't know what to tell you. That's a fucking felony. And then he, he threatened to sell her car that he can't even sell. Like, his name's not even on the title. You can't sell somebody's fucking car when your name's not on the title. 
I mean, he's just threatening blatantly illegal shit. And this is all on the record. And he wants to put it in public. He wants to. He wants it like this. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. That's This is what happened. You want to know why it happened? Because me and Pants, we've been talking about getting married for a while. Well, she wanted to get married with her family there and do all that. I, you know, I don't, I could get married anywhere. It doesn't matter to me really, right? Like we, we're married. I, we're already, I already feel like we're married now. But like that wasn't a priority for me. But I never had a problem with her family. I never said a cross word to her father before like a few days ago. I never had a cross word with her mother. I never had a cross word with her whore sister, Alana. I'm not kidding, by the way. Her brother, who I still like, I'm sure he probably hates me now. That's fine, you know. But, like, I didn't have a problem with them. I actually stayed at their house uh, during some holidays, you know, in, in a sensitive time in my life after my mother had died uh, and, you know, tried to op be open and, and to these people being my, you know, because I wanted to start a family with Pansy. Like, this is the person I wanted to be with my whole life. So I actually tried to to be open to them like like a part of the, you know, not really a full part of the family, but kind of, you know, and I never had a crossword with, with any of them. And so earlier this year, there was some controversy. I mean, I'm, there's always people talking shit about me. And they put up some pics of her sister on Kiwi Farms. And then the Alice garbage happened. And so her sister cut off contact, contact with Pantsu because of Kiwi Farms. Because of things written on the internet about me and her sister. That's what kind of person Alana Morris is. That's how thick her blood relation is. Not very fucking thick. You're not a good sister and you're not a good person. And everything I'm saying is true, by the way. You're not a good sister and you're not a good person. And not only that, you got a lot of nerve to question my, my moral character when literally... I was with your family. They were all joking about how you had cheated on your like 12 year relationship with a married coworker. Like they were all laughing about it. like it was like a joke. I was there. So it's like, okay. By the way, she's back with the original boyfriend now. After fucking her married coworker and having a huge scandal at her job and all this shit. Like, okay. So who are you? And I've never been anything but nice to these people either. It's like, I know I have a, you know, it's controversial to be me. Like, I understand. And if you don't want anything to fucking do with me, that's fine. But it's like, okay, I've never done anything to this person. Okay. So Pantsu, Amanda, is talking to Alana and about the wedding. We're going to get married this summer. And she goes, Alana goes, it's going to suck because the whole family hates him. And then... Pantsu, Amanda. Because that's, wow, that's really fucked up. You know, that was a really fucked up thing to say. Do you know, do you mean, like, is that something you really mean? Like, that's kind of fucked up. And she's like, yeah, I really mean that. And so, we were talking about getting married. And this came, this comment came up and was put to me as a quote from Alana. And I sent Alana a text. And I said, Basically, what I've already said here, that you got a lot of nerve. Uh, you got a lot of nerve uh, saying what you said to my future wife, basically, your sister. You got a lot of nerve with the attitude that you think you have with me, given the fact, uh, you know, I went through the story that I retold there uh, with her adulterous relationship and, you know, cucking her boyfriend and just being a general wigger weird by the way her whole family talks like normal white people and then she talks like a like a wigger like literally like a trailer park wigger <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world her whole family talks like normal white people i guess if you have like some italian accent new york italian or whatever and then she talks like she talks like some wigger <laughs> she talks like some wigger cast member of hustle and flow she talks like the bitch she talks like the hooker on hustle and flow like <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking thing. Like, there's no reason for it. Like, it's a clear, it's clear affectation. You're, none of your family talks like that. You're the only one who talks like that. Clearly, it's a put on. This is all true, by the way. I'm just telling the truth. I don't have to lie. I'm just telling the truth. And so I sent that text. I sent that text and said, you had a lot of nerve. Then 
She sent me a text back, which I didn't see for a minute. She sent me a text back and said that she bet I wouldn't come to Rochester and say that, and she basically wanted me to fight her in Rochester. And I'm not kidding, and I have the text, and if it ever, you know, if we ever need to go and just put them all out, that, that can happen. <laughs> and I assured her that I would definitely say that to her face in Rochester or in any other goddamn fucking city in this country or in any other country. Bitch. And that wasn't taken well. And I don't give a fuck. So after that, she went to her father like the absolute coward that she is, like the absolute rat, just rat behavior, like me, honestly. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Okay, we had a spat in text. I, obviously, you don't like me. I don't like you, bitch. Like, okay, it's not, it doesn't even have to go past that. It literally doesn't have to go past that. Right? It's like, okay. Obviously, there's a major issue here. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Like, it doesn't have to go. It's just me and her talking, right? So her dad, her dad sends a text after this, after she went and cried to him and says, continued, by the way, I wasn't, I only sent a couple texts and then I didn't send anything else. And he's like, continue. This sound, does this sound familiar? Like a certain guy out West that we know just, <laughs> you know, cry bully type shit. Does this sound familiar? Is it sounding familiar? Because it sounds really familiar to me. Anyway, he said, he said, continued harassment of Alana. By the way, this is the bitch who told me to come up to Rochester and fight her in the fucking street. And I'm not kidding. She told me to come to Rochester and fight her in the street. If anything, I was being harassed. So he said, continued harassment of Alana will have consequences, whatever. I've already lost the hat and I've already lost the belt. And we had the text. And it's like, okay. And then he like cut communication. And this is, you know, and the shirts came after that. They're already on the way. It's like, this is thousands of dollars worth of property, dude. Over a fucking, what? Your fucking wigger daughter like threatened to fight me in the street over some dumb shit. You're destroying thousands of dollars of my property. Like, And I tried to reach out multiple times and I had conversations after, you know, there were a couple of contentious conversations too. With other members of the family, et cetera. But it's like, dude, he's already said he's destroyed thousands of dollars on my property that I've sold tickets to that I've got people coming to an event to like, you've taken a very, actually a very minor exchange and you've turned it into a fucking, you know, $5,000 fucking crime. Right? Like, You've taken something that was really small and, and this shouldn't be happening. And you've made it insane. So I didn't do that. That was a choice that Harry Morris made. Like I didn't, I didn't want to come out here and do this. I messaged him. I had Cisco go through. I did everything I could to avoid this. Last night, y'all saw me on air. I really, you know, I'm an entertainer. I'm going to lean into it. <laughs> you know, we're going to have fun with it, if we, right? If I'm going to go over it. But like, also, this doesn't make me happy. And then the shit he's done since, it's like, it's not, it's not a, it's not, it's not a fun thing. It's, it's a fucking crazy thing. It's insane. I told you guys last night, I was like, you wouldn't even believe you wouldn't even believe what's been happening. Like you literally, which is, you literally could not believe what I've been dealing with. And to this day, he can still just give me my money, honestly. Like, but I can't just let this fat fuck destroy thousands of dollars in my property. The showpiece bell, I mean, like, this is the guy, like, I know he loves this picture. I, I figured I'd pull it up for him. Well, he did post it, so, you know. But it's like, dude, what am I What am I supposed to do with that? And the things, you know, the, the, the attacks and the, you know, he tried to leverage. He basically, you know, tried to you know, break up my family as well, you know, going into all that. Going, you know, 
trying to force her to come back. You know, that's part of his play here, I think. I don't know. But, uh, you know, destroying people's property and threatening to sell their shit and just doing all kinds of nefarious shit and, you know, claiming claiming to do other nefarious shit. Uh, you know, I, I see the stuff on Kiwi Farms like everybody else. Like, um, I mean, honestly, you've proven what a piece of garbage you are. But uh, I'll say that I'll say this. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed. There's a reason uh, I'm I'm very nimble, uh, so to speak. And um, this is a green screen behind me, and uh, it can actually go anywhere, and uh, often does go anywhere. Not <laughs> so. Um, I'll just I just clue you in on that, uh, and I'll also clue you in on. It just it's just funny to me that something so like I don't know it is bizarre when I just sit and and think about it it's like uh yeah this fat fuck did have a thing for Alice yeah he was like a super Alice simp yeah I was telling that story at the beginning of the show so Alice um I was over there the first week when she came out and she had one version of her allegations but they weren't as salacious uh and she actually denied uh the more salacious aspects so I was at his house for that episode, but it was still like fucked up. She was still lying, but it was not as salacious. And then they cooked up another episode of the chemo casino after that was like, Oh, uh, you know, and, it, and it's totally different. If you watch both episodes, they don't mesh at all. But anyway, I won't get into that. Um, the day after Harry's a car carrying member of her discord. And so in order to hear what, you know, I wanted to see what they were saying. They're cooking up lies. He was already on the call on his phone with it playing in his living room. He's like an Alice super fan. And I'm not kidding. I don't. This is not a joke. This is not me. I haven't told a lie. By the way, some people could maybe disagree with me, um, my original text to her to her sister. I don't personally because I feel like it was fucked up what she said to my wife, you know, soon-to-be wife. I feel like that was like, who would even fucking... It's not even about what she said about me. It's like, what the fuck? Like... You got a fuck like you got that kind of mouth on you. Like, okay, well I got a mouth on me too, right? Like it's one of those situations. Like wow, you're talking to my like that's that's fucked up. So you could maybe disagree with me, um, you know, making my thoughts known on her character. I can see some people disagreeing with that. Personally, I don't. I don't. But this guy right here destroyed thousands of dollars of my property. And bragged about it and threatened to steal his daughter's car and sell that shit too. <laughs> I'm just being real. So that's all, those are all real things that have happened. And he's a Alice super fan. Yes, that's true. I don't know. It's just as weird. I, I don't I don't even know what, how anybody could actually be in a fan of that. <laughs> you watch those streams like to actually see what's being said. Like I don't understand. Let me play some super chats. I'll go into it again. By the way, I haven't told any lies. Like, like I said, people can can judge it how they want, but I don't see how anybody could defend him destroying thousands of dollars of my property over an argument between me and his and his other daughter who told me to come fight her in the street in Rochester. <laughs> by the way, so I just want I just want that to be clear. Who told me to come fight her in the street in Rochester? So I don't see how. Unless you're just like a crazed Ralph hater, you could defend him destroying the property. I'm sure there's going to be some people who do it, but I'm just being honest. And the, everything I've said is without hesitation true in every way. And I've never had a crossword with Harry Morris before this. And he can't say otherwise. He knows that's not true. Or any of the family. And I'm not kidding. So it's like, all right, well, obviously there... I guess there's... <laughs> You know, it was already a big problem. Like, I I never had a crossword. Okay, yeah, we had a crossword here, obviously. Me and Alana, obviously. But, uh, oh, now you're just going to destroy thousands of dollars of my property? Some of my mom's stuff? It's like... How the fuck? How the fuck? I mean, I don't know. I have to just tell that story. So, again, I could, I could go further. Um... You know, I talked about some, some stuff. I could, I could get really 
like the tabloid guy, honestly, you know, I, I could get really, really um, interesting with it. Um, I'm not going to do that just for pantsuit sake, really. Um, I, I'm going to keep it on just telling you the level of what happened and not go into any, you know, other things I could bring up, talk about. Um, but this guy's not in any position to say that he has a better character than me. And, the, and any idea that he does is ridiculous. And the idea that he could just destroy fucking thousands of dollars of the property. And that's supposed to be cool based off of a text exchange where his own daughter told me to come fight her in the street. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to, I don't know what else to say about it. I could, I could get a lot worse with it. Um, I, I was debating like how, you know, long to do the segment and, you know, um, how, how, how deep to go with it. Um, I am going to, you know, I'm just going to report it to the police. Uh, it's about all I can do really. Um, sounds highly frustrating. Yeah, it is frustrating. Cause it's also like, well, you know, it is. Yeah. I mean, I've already made it public and said some, some, some tough things as it is. Um, and I don't think that any of that's unwarranted based on, based on what he's done. So, um, I'm hopeful that the police will do something about it. Um, if not, I'll have to take it to two small claims. We're still going to have Ralph Mania. I'm going to figure out something. I'm going to message the the belt maker, actually, uh, here in just a moment. Um, but, um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things like, yeah, I was, I'm glad we had the show we had last night because that really did just kind of, that was great. I wanted to keep this separate from that show as well. And like, not cross over um, into it, and like taint that. I already know how it's you know how it's going to be portrayed, how it's going to go. Um, I knew that yesterday, but also it's like I don't really have an option other than to just put the story out there and let the people decide. Um, I feel like I'm in the right. I have the receipts on everything I said, so. Again, hopefully the police will do something. Like I, you know, if if it was old Ralph, I'd already be on the plane. I'd already be doing something dumb. Um, it's not worth that. Um, I'm hopeful that um, that it'll be resolved in my favor. But you know, that's that might not be for a while. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. How much of the belt? Yeah, the belt itself was two thousand dollars. So, actually, let me email him. Um, see. I wonder. Let's see. Uh, let's see. In theory. Uh, let's see. Some asshole destroyed my belt. Wait, should I just say that? Hey, some asshole destroyed my belt. In theory, would it be possible? Would it even be possible to get a new one before January. <laughs> That's so soon, too. January 14th. <laughs> I realize this is a weird request. <laughs> but it's a long story. <laughs> uh, I would... Also assume uh, an extra fee of some sort, which would be fine. <sighs> okay. Well, you know these guys are professionals. You know, I have an I have another uh, idea as well. Maybe we don't crown a world champion that night. Maybe we crown a hardcore champion. You know, I've had, I've had a, I've had a couple different ideas, uh, that I'm kicking around. We still got a card like set up. We still got Cisco, uh, versus Chase Savage, all this stuff. Um, it is fuck. It pisses me off. I mean, that's the other reason I had to take a public. Like I wanted to fucking have that belt. If you ask me why I didn't have the belt myself, uh, it's because I was just not having stuff sent to my address to protect, um, my location. 
uh, and basically this guy took advantage of that uh, trust. It was stored there uh, by his daughter, uh, and so he took advantage of that trust and destroyed my property. So that's what happened. It's just, I mean, like, I don't know what else to say. Um, that's literally what happened, and I don't, I don't really see how there's a defense for that. I'm, I am curious to see the A-logs, how they defend it. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to try. I'm sure it's going to, I'm sure it's going to happen, but I, I'm just curious as to how you could defend that. Really? Um, it's just outright criminal. I mean, just blatantly criminal behavior. And so I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll actually do anything, uh, in Rochester. I'm hope I'm hoping that they will. Um, you know, and I don't even really, I mean, just, Give me my money back at this point, like whatever. But um, that's definitely the story there, uh, as far as the world title goes at Ralph Um If I have to, if I had to, if I have to add any addendums or anything like that, I will. Uh, I talked about some stuff on Telegram. Uh, I talked about some stuff on on Twitter and elsewhere. But um, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it at this level for now. Uh, and I don't feel like, um, I feel like I have the high ground, honestly, <laughs> rarely, maybe I, th- I feel like I have the moral high ground on this. Uh, and so I feel like, um, going any, going any further than I have, and I've said plenty, uh, I feel like it just gives him, it just gives him a, an advantage. Yeah. Don't let it ruin my Christmas. You know what I mean? Like I've said plenty. I've got my shots in. He knows what he did. It's thousands of dollars. Like, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's fucked up. Um, but, like, as far as just going and, you know, I've said plenty. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I don't know. I'm not going to let this fuck. I'm not going to let this fuck. First off, fuck up the show. And we're going to get married on the Friday before the show. I should have some more information on that as well. I don't know how we're going to get some people. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, instead of getting married in the summer, like we were thinking and with our family, we're just going to get married in Atlantic city in a couple of weeks. Uh, and luckily there's all kinds of marriage packages in Atlantic city. So, um, some nice ones too. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And it's an unfortunate situation. Actually. Um, I did everything I could to avoid this, um, and having to, you know, do the do the show on it, do the segment and talk about these these purient things and these these personal details. Um, but others chose to they chose a different path. And so I'm a grown man, I'm Ethan Ralph, and I would I would never accept being a bitch. Um, and I just can't. I'm allergic. I'm allergic to that. I can't and I did everything I could to uh, you know, let him let him break bread. Let him give me my stuff back if he had it or, or give me the money or, or do anything. Like he had any number of choices um, and he didn't take any of those choices. And so, and last night I didn't say anything. Finally, I did after the show because um, at that point it just looked more like it destroyed everything. Like he wasn't responding. There was no, so it's like, okay, well he did. I right, did destroy my shit. So then I finally took it public. So that's why that decision was made. Um, but uh, not not a fun thing, you know. It's not something I that I wanted to happen. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, he acted in such a niggardly manner, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, but uh, I guess that's just Harry Morris, uh, and um, <laughs> that's really all. That's really all you can say about it. You got you got hit. Sometimes you take a hit uh, by trusting the wrong people. Sometimes you sometimes you take a knock because. You, you know, you thought somebody was, was somebody they're not. Um, and that's just being real. That's just being real. And so I can sit here and, you know, I, I'm still mad about it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, I can, uh, you know, I can kick the walls or whatever. Um, and believe me, I'm still going to work to, to, to see some kind of justice done on it. But, um, you know, what else, what else can I really do as far as slatternly? <laughs> That's right. It's like, what else can I really do? Um, plus I feel like it just furthers their goals as well. Uh, cause you know, nobody likes to see their, you know, nobody, she doesn't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Um, 
but we've had to see it, and we've had to see it because of Harry Morse. And, um, you know, I, I I definitely was not on my holiday agenda. Uh, it's unfortunate that it's come to that, but uh, that was that was Harry's call. And uh, he had any chance to make a call, by the way, all the way up until this show. Cisco messaged me. He's like, hey, you want me to send him one more, like, just a chance to – you know, we're we're we'll have to go to police. Like, you could just pay us back, or we're gonna have to go to the police. And he refused. And by the way, this is not a story. This is not a storyline. I want to be clear. This is not a storyline at all. Uh, this is not me playing around. I wish that it was a storyline. I really wish that it was a storyline. Um, but it's not. And so I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated, uh, as far as what happens and all that, of course. Uh, and I'm, you know, maybe there's an outside chance. Um, we could get the belt. Like I said, I think he might have a extra, that extra center plate. So there, maybe there's an outside chance we can get, this guy's a real professional that made the belt. So maybe there's an outside chance we can get another belt. I'm going to figure out the shirt situation. I'll probably just have to take the hit on that, which is like $1,600, but whatever. I got some shirts. Um, So I'll figure that out as well and, um, you know, move forward from there. Um, But uh, I'm trying to to give my full-throated response and also just be be smart about it. And um, and so I think... I think that's probably where I'm going to leave it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.